Hello and welcome to Garobi's Opti 201 training. My name is Lindsay Montanari and I lead the academic program at Garobi. Thank you for joining us for our on-demand optimization 201 for data scientists training, where we're going to be spending two partial days introducing intermediate optimization modeling skills. On day one, we're going to hear about optimization in action and how optimization and machine learning can work together. We'll have a focused session on intermediate modeling and coding complete with hands-on exercises, and we'll compare and contrast machine learning and mathematical optimization. On the second day of training, we're going to start the day with a hidden gems presentation where you're going to learn about various features available in optimization modeling. We'll also dive into part two of intermediate modeling and coding with GorobiPy, and we'll spend the rest of the day putting everything that you've learned together with a final Google Colab use case. Just a quick note before we dive in, you don't need to install Gorobi for this training, but if you'd like to extend your problem solving and you're a member of the academic community, you can download a free full-featured license at gorobi.com academia. For the purposes of the training, we're going to be using a limited version license that you can access directly through Google Colab. All attendees who complete the required sessions of this two-day training will receive a certificate of completion or issued directly from the Whova app. You can check the event agenda to see if a session is part of the certificate path, and all required session descriptions will start with the text, this is a required session for a certificate of attendance. The Whova app tracks viewing time within the web application. If you have to miss some of the live content for other obligations, the sessions will be available to watch later on demand through the Whova app until December 1st, 2023 at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So please be sure to complete the required sessions prior to that date if you would like to receive a certificate of completion for Opti 201. All certificates are gonna be issued directly from the Whova platform by email on December 4th. And unfortunately, we won't be able to issue extensions for those who aren't able to complete the training prior to those dates. Before you get started with the training, I wanted to quickly touch on the intended audiences for our Opti 201 training session. This session builds on our first training in the series, Opti 101. If you're new to optimization, we suggest pausing here and viewing our fully on-demand Opti 101 training content on YouTube. You can do that by visiting youtube.com and searching Groby Free Training Optimization 101 for Data Scientists. Once you find it, click through on the full playlist. If you've already viewed Opti 101, or you have a basic understanding of mathematical optimization from your studies or work experience, you're ready to dive into Opti 201 content with us. This training is part of the Groby's focus on helping to democratize optimization education and give new learners a starting point with prescriptive analytics and the Groby Optimizer. Groby is the fastest solver on the market, and we want to support our users with the resources that you need to be able to tackle your toughest problems and harness the power of Groby. Whether you're a data science practitioner or a member of the academic community working on predictive problem solving with an interest in extending your solutions with intermediate level optimization, there's gonna be something in this hands-on training that will help you meet your goals. If you're a faculty member interested in adding optimization to your courses or leveraging some of the exercises or examples that we're gonna use, you'll hopefully also find this training useful. Ultimately, this is a training session for anyone who's interested in either learning about or instructing other problem solvers in the benefits of optimization modeling and the features available to you within Groby. We're thrilled to hear from optimization and data science experts Jerry Yurchison and Dr. Asan Kodabanda. Jerry is our lead instructor for Opti 201, and he has over a decade of experience in operations research, data science, and visualization, specializing in enhancing decision making with data. Before joining Groby, Jerry worked in consulting at On Location Inc. and at Booz Allen, where he supported numerous projects by building and customizing mathematical optimization models and leveraging machine learning, applied statistics, and simulation, all to support decision-making through data-driven narratives. Jerry has a background in college-level mathematics instruction, and now at Garobi, Jerry aims to promote the integration of mathematical optimization into the data science and broader AI communities. Esan is a principal operations research scientist at DecisionSpot, and DecisionSpot is a partner with within Garobi's Alliance and provides advanced analytic solutions in the areas of supply chain, logistics, and transportation. 
Esan has a deep knowledge in both logistics and tra transportation industries, and over the years, he's worked with several Fortune 500 companies, including GE, Norfolk Southern, and C.H. Robinson. Esan has worked on a variety of supply chain projects and is focused primarily on network optimization and routing. He holds a PhD in industrial engineering, and he's been an adjunct le lecturer for Northwestern University's Master of Science in Machine Learning and Data Science since 2019. Finally, before you dive into the training sessions with Jerry and Isan, I wanted to let attendees know a little bit about the academic program here at Garobi. As a company, we've always been supporters of academia, and in 2024, we are going to be taking this commitment even further by helping to democratize optimization education and focusing on the development of new educational content like the training session today. In addition to our educational content, Garobi licenses are always free for academics and recent graduates. If you're a current student or faculty member and you haven't already, please be sure to visit our website at www.garobi.com and click Academic in the navigation bar. There you're going to be able to register for a Garobi account, download your free license, and use the knowledge you gain over the next two days to further your problem solving with Garobi. We also have a full range of open education materials that we've developed to help students and instructors at any level learn and teach mathematical optimization. You can take a look at those free educational resources by visiting www.garobi.com learn. One tool that you'll find there is our web-based optimization game called the Burrito Optimization Game. It's a game that introduces learners to the power of optimization in real-world problem-solving scenarios. You can play the game for free or access the teaching guide or game guide by visiting the game website at www.burritooptimizationgame.com or through the Garobi website's academic section. So these are just some of the ways that Garobi works to support the academic community, but please feel free to reach out to me at academicprogram.garobi.com to learn more. Now I'd like to hand over the introduction to Jerry Yurchison to kick things off with our comprehensive Opti 201 training. Thanks so much for joining us. Thanks, Lindsay. I'm Jerry Yurchison, data science strategist for Garobi Optimization, and welcome. I'm super excited to be able to uh, put together another awesome training uh, to get data scientists and the broader AI community uh, more deeply connected to mathematical optimization. So I want to go over a few questions uh, that you may have before we get going into our main content. So the first question may be, do I need to be a data science expert for this training? And the answer to this question is the same as it was for Opti 101. And that is no, you don't need to be an expert. Uh, the amount of data science that we actually do in, in uh, this training isn't all that large. We more talk about the relationship between data science uh, and mathematical optimization. So if you are uh, in business intelligence or decision intelligence or your business leader or essentially anyone who wants to solve problems with data and rigor, then this training is for you. Uh, what do I need uh, to know coming into this training? Well, for starters, Pretty much everything that we covered in Opti 101. So that's the basics of mathematical optimization, so the types of problems that it solves, the basic building blocks of mathematical optimization, so decision variables and, and the types of decision variables that you can use, uh, being able to identify and formulate constraints uh, and objective functions, and then be able to code all that up and run it in a sol with a solver. We did cover a bit of mathematical notation, so that'll be a good thing to uh, freshen up on if if that's not your strong suit. This is also a Python based training. So some basic skills in Python um, are required. And we do run Jupyter Notebooks in Google Colab. So being able to have some experience with that, again, definitely helpful. And if you want to use Colab, you may need to sign into or create a Google account. So what should I expect to gain from this training? Well, modeling real world problems isn't easy. Uh, so this training will equip you with the skills to be able to take on those more difficult problems. Uh, getting quality solutions to these very difficult problems is even harder. And that's something that Groby excels at. So uh, to do all of this, we identified a set of topics that can allow you to expand your modeling capabilities, but also leverage key Groby features uh, to make this process easier and to be able to pro provide even more value uh, when you're solving your problems. 
We'll talk more about how machine learning and mathematical optimization could work together and what Garobi is doing to make that collaboration between the two even more powerful. So I'm thrilled to pass it over now to Asan, who will talk more about what he'll be talking about uh, in his sessions. Over to you, Asan. Thank you, Jerry. Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Asan Kodabanda, and I am Principal Operations Research Scientist at Decision Spot. And I'm really excited to be with you once again for Opti 201. In addition to my full-time job at Decision Spot, where I work closely with other OR scientists and data scientists, as Lindsay mentioned, I teach an optimization course at Northwestern in the machine learning and data science program. Through all of these experiences, uh, I firmly believe it's important that data scientists know about the value that mathematical optimization brings to problem solving. Now, since you're here, it means you're already aware of that, so I spare you any motivational speech. But if someone forced you, I mean, encouraged you strongly to register for this training, or if you're one of the few data scientists in your team and you want to advocate for optimization in your organization, group, or even among your friends, and share some reasons why a data scientist should learn about optimization, then I give you one simple reason, and that is knowledge is power. If you're familiar with this powerful technique, mathematical optimization, I mean, then perhaps you can uncover new problems or come up with better solutions. Uh, let me give you an example, a true story that happened to one of my colleagues, a data scientist, no less. Uh, he was working with a client on, on a planning forecast and he needed to consider factors like current and incoming inventory, the demand forecast, and a lot more. Uh, most people thought that either ML needed to be used here, because after all, it was called a planning forecast, or some rule of thumb method. But he knew these forecasts were being used in the warehouses to manage the inventory. Uh, because he had taken an optimization course in the past, he could sense that this was an optimization problem. So working together a bit, we came up with a formulation in just a day for something that could have taken weeks and resulting in something suboptimal. Now, during this Opti 201 training, uh, I'll cover two main things. In day one, I'll talk about different approaches to solve problems and, and focus on the nuances of choosing between mathematical optimization or heuristics. And in the second day, we'll work together on a case study that was inspired by a real-time, a uh, real-life uh, client project. Now, before we begin, uh, I want to express my gratitude. Uh, even though this is a free two-day training, it's not just Jerry and me or the other names that you will see during these two days. Many people have been involved in preparing the materials, and they have dedicated a lot of their times doing so. So I want to thank all of them for their help, and I also want to thank you for taking time out of your busy schedules to be with us. Uh, I really hope you take away valuable lessons at the end of these two days. So with that, uh, let the journey begin.